Hello guys, it's Emma from Ebster Casting, and um, today I am doing another tutorial for a mod which is called the Forestry Mod. Um, and the Forestry Mod was previously um, in the um, older updates of Tech It or Technic Packs, um, part of the Technic Mods. Um, and it was a really, really um, cool part of it which enabled you to be able to go and cut down trees with just hitting the bottom of it and falling down and other things like that and it had like kind of farms that were all done by mechanics and machines so it was actually a really 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 cool mod so unfortunately when they took out took it out of the mod pack you can now no longer get it in the technical tech pack in the latest updates so the only way to get it is manually um sorry is um installing it by itself like what i'm going to show you how to do now so go to the first link in the description which I will show you, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna actually go there. But this link will be in the description for you. So let's go have a look. Forestry mod, and you just simply have to scroll down to the bottom of the page and find the exe download. You can also use the zip if you feel like you want to. Uh, it should be a direct link download, and it's starting to download like that. Then come to too many items because this is a simple, a um, uh, little bit more advanced mod. So having too many items helps navigate around it a little bit um, more than uh, the uh, what's it called the created mode menu in one dot four six is a little bit of a pain. So then go find where your downloads get sent to. Most people it would be the downloads, um, but if you've changed it, it would be somewhere else. So take out your, um, to, oh, okay, well, for some reason I can't take it out to the desktop for some reason, because something's, I don't know, so I can just do it in here. So double click on your forestry mod, and run it. And it may take a little while for me because I'm rendering a video, and I'm also installing something, so it's a little bit slow at the moment, unfortunately. So before you do this, what you want to make sure is that you've updated your um, dot .minecraft or you've reset it. That means basically going to your dot .minecraft and drag it into the trash and that will delete it all and then reinstall it. Um, as your saves are in there though, you might want to make sure you back it up yourself. So press install mod and you can back it up, but you shouldn't, you know, as you should have already, um, you should have already done the um, it manual backup yourself. So, take a little while to install for me, unfortunately, as I am um, rendering and installing some stuff on my other screen at the moment, which you won't be able to see. Um, so, just have to wait a little bit, a little while. Um, but the next part of this is the too many items bit, which we'll get to in a minute. And, um, brief note if these installers don't work, um, it will probably be because of driver issues and Java issues of not being up to date enough with these installers but again that's something I haven't really found out exactly why so if it doesn't work what I suggest doing is um, trying to find the manual install somewhere else and I will try and do one on it if I could find all the parts necessary I would do that but if I can't find the parts necessary I won't be able to so we're nearly done here it's just a little bit longer it should zip along in a minute as it normally does and then we'll be pretty much done with the installer um, of the mod so if you don't want too many items you can after doing this part you can just simply open up your minecraft but if you do want too many items you will just have to stay um, put um, stay put with the tutorial and I'll show you how to do that unless you already know how to do it of course but there are a couple things that have changed from just installing too many items the normal way with these um, mods okay so press ok and you can close it out and you'll get a little message saying that it may not have installed properly um, this is just a routine this always happens so just press cancel and let's go find the roaming file so percent app data percent oops did that wrong there you go roaming and then double click on your dot minecraft bin then left click once then right click and you'll get the little drop down bit 
and open up with your, your archiver, whatever you're using, it won't matter. Now, this mod, okay, now, with mod installers, some of them will keep your meter inf. Now, because you've installed the mod and the mod is up to date and working, you do not want to delete the meter inf for two reasons. One, they have the mod installer has installed parts of the mod into it, enabling the meter inf to work, so deleting it would break the mod itself. So you do not want to delete that. Um, the two many items will get around it due to what is being installed will enable both of them to be able to work. Um, all mods will be able to work with the meter inf. So open up your two many items and select it all and drag it straight into there like that without deleting your meter inf. If you delete your meter inf it will definitely not work. Um, I've tried it before. Well, I didn't try it, I was going to do it and then it failed, so now I know not to. And then go ahead and open your Minecraft, and I will just show you that it's working. Unfortunately, I will not be able to um, show you um, the what's it called? I will not be able to show you how it like, all works properly. As um, at the moment, I'm doing loads of other stuff, so I have a feeling it will be extremely slow and probably bore you to death with it, the lagginess so instead of doing that I would maybe do a mod um, spotlight separately and put a link in it um, I'm not sure if I'm going to or not but if I get around to that it will be in the description or on the um, screen that you're watching somewhere so I'm just going to show you that it's worked and once it's set up your environment, you'll get a small black screen and you'll be fine after that and it'll come up with Mojang. Um, these black screens can sometimes go on for about 10 seconds, so do not worry depending on how slow your computer is. So always give it a little bit of time before exiting off straight away. See, here's my black screen and we should get the Mojang after that, which is good. So now I just have to wait a little bit. for it to load up. Unfortunately it's a little bit laggy because I'm doing some um, installs over there, doing some stuff, so yep. Okay, so I'm just going to show you it's worked by going to single player world. So it's fine. And I will show you the two many items and all the stuff that's been added in the forestry mod. Um, this mod is actually pretty awesome as well. Uh, there's loads of cool stuff in um, this mod, so it's actually pretty cool. Uh, so I do advise checking this mod out. Well, if you're watching this, you're probably going to. But I do advise um, looking at a forum page to find all the things out in this. Um, you're watching a thing. Um, it's just saying there's a new version. Oh, God. Uh, a new version available. But as far as I know, there's not. So I'm not sure what that is. That also happens with tech it with the new versions it does commonly say that so just quickly show you, you can see what i mean about the lag at the moment so uh, 11 pages so there's definitely stuff so you can see there's the candles i think the new we've got loads of new woods and we've got all this stuff here now the coding what was being um, put down as is a little bit strange. Okay, but you've got all of this stuff here. So, absolutely tons of cool stuff. So, look at that. There's loads of stuff. Um, so, that's pretty cool. So, that's it for me. Um, you may see me doing a mod spotlight later on if you want to watch that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not. So, otherwise for that, that's it for me, guys. Hope you found this useful. Please like if it's worked. Um, Please subscribe if you feel like it. That's it from me. Goodbye.